Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with FGO Las Vegas official bout. Uh, this is part number 6 of my gameplay video and we are going to resume that we defeated Okta Soji and now we are going to go for the 5th casino Sarsue Duriquin. I hope I pronounced that right and uh, yeah I did a little farming and uh, yeah my QP is at 120 120 no how much is this uh, 120 million okay <laughs> so yeah it, it's it's completed the quota so I guess we'll be able to play this and hopefully I'm able to complete this okay no first of all I forgot uh, before this I think I yeah this one I unlocked this one and I had to go I'll have to do this one before and do this before then I'll go to the main storyline so this is the fun jet Tenden Reed Shinryu I'm guessing this is something related this quest has no battles okay this is something related to Okta Soji you know she and her jetpack <laughs> okay I'm going to do this first then I'm going to do the main storyline Why is her head? It's time we settle this once and for all. Manslayer Izo. Oh, they're going to have a duel? <laughs> ha! You can dress up like uh, your hick swordsmanship. Uh, Jet Tenen Shinru as all you can like. It won't make a lick of difference. Why is their head censored? What the hell? Okta and Izo are going to fight a duel? Yes, they said today was the day they are finally going to settle things. Oh, Alter is here as well. Where are they fighting? They're at the outdoor pool. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Senpai, there's no time to lose. Let them fight? I don't know. Okta! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On your right. Yuzo, watch your left. Almost there. You're mine. Both of you, stop it. Okay, now they're showing in their faces. M Master? What the? Oh no, wait. Did they knock each other out? So you're just splitting. <sighs> ah, should have known. So you're just splitting. <laughs> That's why Hijikata was saying. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so so you were just splitting watermelons? That's right, we were competing to see who could be the first to split one while blindfolded. Oh, they were blindfolded, that's why their heads were censored. It was just getting good too, before you came and interrupted us. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned the duel was only for watermelon <laughs> splitting. I'll try to do better next time. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Focus more on the context. Hey, what's done is done. Now that you're here, master, why don't you and Marsh help us eat it? Or just having watermelon too, so you can have no excuse. Go on, eat up. <laughs> I can't believe how cleanly these watermelons were split. Yeah, because they're master swordsmen. Yes, I can see why they both uh, made a name for themselves during Bakumatsu. Oh god, Japan's Bakumatsu era. The swordsmanship really shines though true even when they're only up against watermelons ah this is nothing what she said this sort of thing is easy even when with the blindfold <laughs> it's eating <laughs> so who won anyway why that would be me okta the beautiful senior swordswoman oh no now they're gonna fight because of this are you kidding it's me the genius swords oh no Oh please, as if this beautiful genius source woman would ever lose to the likes of you. Don't make me laugh. Have you ever looked yourself in the mirror rate lately? What's this so-called beauty you're talking about? Fine then, if I'm going to do go there, then let's just settle which one of us is the biggest Bakumatsu badass once and for all. Huh, <laughs> fine with me. You silly tenderin and Shinryu bumpkin excuse for swordsmanship always rubbed me the wrong way anyway. 
Whoa, whoa, what are you two doing? <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of this, Izo, but once we face off... Of course I'm aware. I won't uh, end... It won't end uh, until one of us is dead, and that's... That someone's going to be you. Good, just making sure. Alright then, here I go. Oh god. Wait, she's starting with an old phantom? Oh no, she... Okay, changed her spirit origin, okay. Prepare to die, Izo. Photon missiles, go! Oh my god. What, what the hell? Who brings missiles to a sword fight? Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Where's your honor, damn it? Honor? Really? Please. The only thing that matters when it comes to duels is winning them. Wow. That's... Okay. What the hell? Man, Okita's oh, as ruthless as ever. Don't worry, they don't really mean to fight to the dead. It might not be obvious, but they're actually good friends. Yes. I think Iza's really happy getting to cross swords with Okta like this. Well, actually, he's not actually crossing swords. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Huh. You think it doesn't seem like that to Oyo, not to mention that they're not actually <laughs> crossing swords at all. Hmm, <laughs> this watermelon is really good. Have some, Ryoma. Hey, Okta, we'll never eat all this watermelon ourselves. Go tell the others to join us. Um, she's a little bit busy, as we can see. Oh, Okta, this Okta, okay. Good point. Watermelon tastes better eaten with friends. Anyway, it's sheer deliciousness. Ah, you better save some watermelon for me too, Walter me. <laughs> Who cares about the damn watermelon? Oh, wow. Oh, that, that was a short little... Thing. Yeah, oh, that was it. Okay, um, let me just check one thing first. Alright. Alright, so let's start the main uh, story now. The fifth casino. Circuit du Requin. Wow, there's a lot of uh, servants here. A lancer, a caster, and an assassin. So I need a saber. Uh, a saber, a caster, and a rider. Saber, Caster, Rider. Hmm. Hmm. Let me take a Caster with me. Caster, Saber, and a Rider. Saber. And the Rider is there. I don't need her. And let's just take. Yeah, let's do go with this. I think this is okay. No, let me change. Hmm. Alright, let's go with this. Okay. Fifth casino. Okay, so this one, who's going to be? I think they kind of showed us who the uh, Swimsu Swordmasters were, but we forgot. Welcome to Circuit de Requin. Welcome to the greatest circus in the world, where miraculous feats will be performed before your very eyes. I promise you all, tonight will be a night to remember. What's that noise? What the hell? Okay. Oh wow. Oh, this is the Halloween. I am Mephistopheles, the leader of this fine circus. Oh, wait, should that be ringleader, ringmaster? Ah, who cares? Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We begin with leaping through not a flaming hoop, but an electric hoop. Indeed, an alternating current hoop. Specifically, car. <laughs> As you can see, alternating current is extremely dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. There's nothing dangerous about it, you mangy plebeian. You just messed it up. Oh yeah? Then you give it a try, you pompous elitist. You bet I will just watch me jump through this direct current hoop. I'll just switch this to this, get a running start, and yeah. Right, my cap got snacked. Cape got snacked. 
What a lame brain. What a maroon. Up, <laughs> yeah. You both have a long way to go. We've been shown up. God, what's happening? Welcome. Next, we'll be taking in a little show within a show. And watch as two delightful little girls pay a visit to Patchwork London. Patchwork. What is the evil that awaits him there? Patchwork London. Is this the... Okay. What is it that they've come in search so desperately? Make sure you stick around to the very end to find out. Enjoy. Oh, yes. Uh, I trust this goes without saying, but video recording, photography and the likes... And the like are strictly prohibited. Um, I am currently recording, so I don't think that's <laughs> good. Oh, boy. After all, it's not a real dream if you try to preserve it for posterity. And with that, let's begin. Two little girls, that means... Oh, up, skip, dance the night away. We're all going to the pot anyway. What the hell? <laughs> what? Dolphin, oh dolphin, what is it you see that makes you leap and squeak? What type of nursery rhymes are these? What the hell? I cannot tell what is it you speak. Oh, the dolphin's here. Does everyone have their chocolate bars? Between me and you and Mr. Dolphin, we have three all together. Now, we're off to the moon for our picnic. All that you do? It's a long, long way to the moon, don't you know? But if you give me a chocolate bar, I'll be glad to send you all the way there. Let me guess <laughs> how you're going to send them. Take one, take one. Send us to the moon right now. You got it. All right. There you go. I knew this was coming. Hop into my cannon. One little kaboom and I'll have you there in no time. Here we go. I <laughs> triumphant the... The toil. Sorry about the pronunciation again. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. And they went to the moon. Oh my god. <laughs> They're continuing this. Huh? Are we on the moon now? I thought there were supposed to be bunnies here. No, unfortunately there's no bunnies on moon. But I don't see so much as a single chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is she doing here? My oh my, I'm so sorry to hear that. You see, this is Venus. Oh, okay, wait, what? There are buildings in Venus? Like, I can see some few buildings there, ruins. I guess your cannon must have overshot. You're not the first kids to wind up lost like here. Here like that. Anyway, welcome. We're glad to have you. After all, we can always use more work. My god, workers. <laughs> no! <laughs> no more moon for you two. From now on, it's just work, work, work. We love work. Work is fun. Work is life. Happiness begins and ends with work. What is this? Some work dance that they're doing? What do we do? What do we do? All we have to do here is work, work, work. There's no cannon to get back and no stupid Mr. Napoleon to shoot us out of it. Isn't there any way we can get to the moon? Oh, Ibarak is here. What's this? You two want to go to the moon? Too bad if you'd given me a chocolate bar, I'd have sent you there with a bang. Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. We already <laughs> tried to do that. Then here, you can have mine. Please send us to the moon. Oh, she had her. You got it. No, no. And she's going to punch them. Oh, no. Oh, you... Okay. The fireworks. All right. Yummy. Alright, come here. I'll send you to the moon with one blast of Mount Oe fireworks. Here goes. Encomium Moriare. Morie. Oh no. I wonder where they'll go wind up now. 
what the hell is this oh uh, we are here oh my is this what the moon looks like oh no is is are they going to meet bb here or something like you know the moon because this is the oh no artemis okay that makes sense you know moon goddess why yes it is a delightful dream like moon world is waiting for you just up ahead however i have to ask do you two have any chocolate bars ah not chocolate again because it costs one chocolate bar per person to get into the moon world one chocolate bar per person oh no what do we do we only have one chocolate bar left you know what you can break it you know and say that these are two chocolate bars then one of us will have to stay behind artemis please take nursery to the moon world i'll go back have fun on the moon nursery goodness no i can't do that if you're not going john i'm not going either let's go back to the pot together oh mr dolphin is here mr dolphin what are you doing with that chocolate bar oh she he came to give us his chocolate bar nice <laughs> what the hell oh that was okay their chocolate bar ah it snapped in half oh my god there you go they're doing what i was i would what i just said they're breaking it into two <laughs> nice job dolphin you figured out how to make one chocolate bar into two <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was saying you know this kind of reminded me of something um there was this uh, you know i think it was a visual novel uh grizaya no kajitsu where there's this whole thing where they said that can you make nine carrots into ten carrots how do you make nine carrots into ten carrots and you know what the solution was the solution was that you just chop the carrots up you know nine, like you know kind of dice them and make it as if there are ten carrots by rearranging the pieces it's something like this this reminded me of that like you know if you have one chocolate bar and you want two chocolate bar just break them like you have two chocolate bars now <laughs> you don't have a problem with that do you artemis not at all come on then you two you're both invited to the moon world thank you mr dolphin thank you <laughs> i feel as if i was the mr dolphin you know because i kind of <laughs> said in the beginning that you break the chocolate bar into two. <laughs> oh boy anyways what the hell is, are these things Oh, the, the <laughs> boards are here as well. Oh, uh, the uh, sparrows of... Oh, they're having a picnic. That picnic was so much fun, but it feels like something's missing. You too, Nasari? I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, where is Jack? Like, we've never seen Jack because usually it's always those three together. That's it, it's her. We have to go back to the pot right away. Yeah, you're right. We can always come back to the moon world with more chocolate bars tomorrow. Hmm. Yes, and then next time we'll be playing lots and lots of them. We can bring stupid Mr. Napoleon and mean and nasty Miss Ishtar. And greedy Miss Oni Ibaraki Doji and of course Mr. Dolphin. And then we can all have a picnic together. Wow, that's nice. What's this place? Dad, Dad, can we go? Can we ask you for something? I wonder who the dad is. <laughs> Samson. <laughs> oh, what is it, my little angel? <laughs> can you give us lots and lots of chocolate so we can all go to the moon? Oh my god. Okay. All right, that's nice. Oh, Mr. Dolphin is also here. <laughs> okay. That was great. 
yes it was wonderful experience although what was it exactly yeah it made no sense and we don't <laughs> need it to make any sense so it was like a musical that was also a circus i'm not quite sure how to describe it i wonder what they did for napoleon's cannon and ibaraki's fireworks i'm guessing they probably used magecraft to expand the nearby space just for those parts oh, okay Castle like Mephistopheles could have helped them with that. Indeed, while that sort of thing would be within a mage's capacity, I doubt any spatial expansion they come up with could stand up to a noble phantasm. Though, really, I still don't understand why servants are putting on a play in the first place. Why not? Like, you know? Is that what the kids are into these days? <laughs> oh, I know. Kids these days are into their... Um... <laughs> are into, what can I say? Video games, so... Yeah, but they are not kids of these days. Jack the Ripper and uh, what? Nurse Rhyme and also <laughs> like John Lilly. Man, I never thought about using my noble phantasm as an artistic expression. This has been a real educational. Well, she kind of does that in a way, you know. You know, noble phantasm. I got, it got Toto-sama fired up too. Hmm. Be like painting something? Sure, once this is all over, I'll help you out. No problem. So first, I gotta take care of one more swimsuit swordmaster. Wait, one more? This is the fifth casino and the sixth swimsuit swordmaster? Or the seventh? I'm getting confused. Anyways. Yes, that's why we came here. To the... Circuit to the Quinn Casino to the first place. It's about time we challenge Jun to a match. Wait, Jun is the Sunsu Swordmaster here? Well, given everything that's happened so far, I doubt it will be straightforward. If it let that sweep uh, stop us from before, we wouldn't be here now. Oh, okay, Jun. Yeah, Jun is, I'm guessing, the Sunsu Swordmaster here because of the dolphin. The dolphin's here. So I guess. <laughs> that was John's dolphin? Anyway, let's go apply for a meeting. Excuse me, you there? Oh, <laughs> Mario Internet. Welcome to the Circle de Requin Casino. Oh my, oh my. Are you here to challenge the swimsuit swordmaster? You sure are. I'll be the one doing the challenging. I'm Kashika Oi, I mean Kashika Hokusai, the greatest source fighter and the famous Ukiyo-e artist. Now go on, take us to the Simpsu Swordmaster. Hmm, you're supposed to bring a letter of challenge with you. But I guess it's okay, there haven't been any challenges lately, so John's been feeling kind of lonely. Just give me a few minutes, okay? It would be very bad if a certain someone got too hungry. Hungry? A, a certain someone? Who? Who could she mean? It's not John. Well, I'm sure it'll be okay, John should hold her back by force if necessary. What? <laughs> there, there, be good. It looks like we have a swimsuit swordmaster challenger. Let's give them a good fight, okay? Is she talking about a dolphin or something? Jan, Jan, is everything okay? Yes, Mary, everything's fine. What did you want to see me about? I was just showing these new challenges the way. How's the tummy? Oh, the tummy's just fine. We've had plenty to eat. Tummy? What? I don't know what they're talking about and I'm getting chills down my spine for some reason. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't be an Edo... Edoit if it turned... Uh, if I turned and run now. Hey, I'm here to challenge... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> play with me. Oh my God. That's a shark, isn't it? That's not a dolphin. God. Y you. <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Welcome to the circuit. De huh? I'm sorry, Jan. They just left. 
Not again. Why do all my challengers run away before we even have a chance to fight? If you ask me, I think it might be a certain someone's fault. Who, this little guy? But Reese EXP is cute, no? Reese EXP? Oh no, sorry, XP, sorry, not EXP. Uh, Reese XP. Play with me. Oh, he is perfectly adorable. Don't you think so too, Eon? Dion? With all due respect, your majesty, I would refrain from comment. <clears throat> Aww. Why do you both look so disappointed? <laughs> oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. Agree, there's no way we can fight that. Was I hallucinating? <laughs> 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 or did a shark floating in midair look at us with its lifeless eyes and say, play with me? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, hmm, what can I say? Life is full of mysteries. That's not the real answer, you knew. <laughs> know it. Uh, what are you all so scared of? Could you be and win a more pathetic? So, what if a dolphin was switched out for a shot? It's not like she's any different herself. Well, if you're going to be so hopeless, I guess I'll have to help you out. I'll make sure you pay me back later. Mysterious Meltrilis. Never mind the mysterious. Also, don't use my real name in public. The paparazzi will have ears everywhere. Anyway, Master Hoxai, if you're going up against a shark, then you're going to want my help. There's no creature from the sea that wouldn't submit to me. Mm, yeah, I guess, like, you have the parka on, like, you know, I guess that gives you plus 50 charm with animals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or sea animals, to be more specific. Oh yeah, good point. Really, when you stop to think about it, it's just a shark, right? It shouldn't be that hard to deal with? I don't know, I've never seen a shark float in mid air before. <laughs> the dolphin did that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on then, let's go back. With my Leviathan authority as my command, that shark may as well be a minnow. Now, come on, I'm going to show you them what it means to truly dominate the ocean. Despite sensing a branch to a bad ending opening up, Betty decided to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. I'm betting they're going to lose this one heart. Care to take me up on it? Mouth Urushat. Oh boy. Oh good, you came back and here I thought you'd left for good. As if I would do that. No, I'm helping them as their stand-in bodyguard. The fifth swimsuit swordmaster's head is going to be the mysterious alter ego lambdas for the taking. I don't care if she's got a shark or a giant squid, I'll have it filleted and ready for sale with just one kick. Really got a bad feeling about this, yeah. What's with that look? You don't think I can do this? Very well then, I suggest you steal yourself for what is to come. Hmm, I don't know what, why I'd possibly need to do that, but fine. Whatever you say. I certainly have no qualms about having a famous Saint John de Arc as my dance part. You're wrong there, I'm not a saint at all. Ah, she's here. Oh, come on now, don't look at me like that. You don't even, you don't want your big sister to be sad, do you? As I was saying, I'm not a saint by any means. Oh really, then do tell what you are. I just mentioned it, I'm masters. Big sister. Oh my god, lol. Oh, okay. Is that so? I see. Big sister? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You're a heroic spirit, right? And a servant. Not to mention you weren't even born in the same country. Are you alright, master? You look pale. Wait, what? You know, I get the feeling she really is my big sister. Big sister, huh? Huh? So you're a master's big sister? How? Yeah, how? This is so sad, I can't believe I have to fight my own little brother. But I guess there's nothing we can do about that now. I guess I'll just have to pound it into, I mean, gently show you that the little brother can never hope to beat his big sister. Oh my god. 
Did she just let her true feeling slip? Oh man, she's the same type as Kylie Chan, isn't she? <laughs> what in the world does all this mean? It means she'll do whatever it takes to win, even if she's fighting her own family. Alright, here I come. Big sister me! <laughs> oh boy, the most powerful beam of all time. Whoa, what the hell? What the? <laughs> ah, what kind of beam is that? Oh, it's a beam born out of my love for my little brother. It makes it so every one of his master skills will be used on me. What? Evade, oh my. Evade and hence recover. Oh, you've made your big sister so happy. Now, it's your turn. Reese, XP, go ahead and chomp them up. That's it. Majestic. Yes. Are all these things soft in the head like this? Does the salt air rust their brains or something? And don't even get me started on that pun. That was even harder to listen to than the dragon girl singing. Come on, I couldn't be that bad. Hey, don't you hide behind me, master. Her eyes are freaking me out. But if I look in her eyes, she'll turn me into her little brother. So she brainwashed you. She did, didn't she? Not even BB would go that far. Uh, Alright, I guess we don't have a choice then. All of you, get master to fall back. We'll have to settle the servant to servant. Oh, you know you don't. Good little brothers know how to listen to their big sister. Wum wum. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that the sound effect? Mm, big sister! Damn it, now do, what do we do? And now to finish this, big sister! Chiyogami squad, captain, go! Use a non lethal paper tank cannon to make master go flying backward at 70 km per hour. Oh boy. Osakabe? Kotaro, you take it from here. Done and done. <laughs> Thanks, you two. <laughs> DMI. Don't matter what. <laughs> it would seem that it is this is as far as we go this time. Lambda, come on, let's get out of here. Every beautiful phantom thief knows she who steals and runs away lives to steal another day. This is so humiliating. I can't believe I have to retreat from this circus. This is all your fault, Master. You're the one who started calling her big sister. You'd better be ready to face the consequences later. Hey, nobody mistreats my little brother on my watch. Get here. Get her, Reese XP. Play with me, play with me, play with me. <laughs> it's coming after us like something out of a cheap horror game. Damn it, I'm warning you, John Dark. I'm very good at holding a grudge. You're gonna pay dearly for this. No problem, I've got all the receipts right here whenever you feel like trying again. Forget the same page. I feel like we're reading off completely different scripts. I can't stand it. All hands fall back. Yeah. I think we should be safe here. Master, please get a hold of yourself. Remember who you are. What, what was I doing? Thank goodness, it looks like he's back to his old self. You were having a bad dream, a very, very bad dream. You're putting it mildly, this is a nightmare. That's the only way a servant could be so convinced she was Master's big sister that she made him believe it too. I'll say, I can't think of any odd couple more unstoppable than a floating shark and a self-proclaimed big sister. <laughs> Especially when she can brainwash Machan and turn him against us if we get too close. How can she do that? Anyway, is is that one of her swimsuit swordmaster abilities or something? No, terrifyingly enough, I think that's just who she naturally is. <laughs> that along with how nothing seems to phase her, makes her a truly formidable swimsuit swordmaster. For multiple reasons. Huh? Um, master? I was so preoccupied with getting away that I didn't notice until now, but... What? Oh my my! What sort of intruders do we have here? Welcome, welcome, you're just in time for tea. Oh, are these her? Oh my god, yeah. 
Yay, we know what goes great with tea. Milk, sugar, and dismembering. Oh, are we doing to improv now? I've always wanted to try my hand at improv. Let's see. Yes, and let's get them. Does this mean we're on stage? It sure does. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Come on then, let's give them a good show. Wonderful, if you could make this fight scene nice and flashy for the audience. Why, that was just be to die for. It's no accident that he punched that last word. Well, no matter, let's do this. Awaiting on my orders, master. Oh my god. Mm. Ah, uh, all right. Okay, this will be easy. Okay, um, Alright, um... Okay, let's see. Um, first of all, let's defeat Jack first. There you go. Whoa! And let's finish this. Oh my, we lost. We lost the fight. Now we'll be banished to Venus and never see the moon. Venus? I heard a mean nasty goddess lives on Venus. <laughs> um, did I say mean and nasty? I mean beautiful and lovely. Now then, let's take a so short intermission before getting back to a story in progress on Venus. Go on now. Now's a chance. Give it up for girls going to Venus. <laughs> uh, clap, 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 clap. Now's the chance, senpai. Ugh. Thank you for allowing us out of that, senpai. Though, I do feel bad for ruining the show. Oh, don't worry about this, master. Yeah, it's no biggie. Servants crash this show all the time. In fact, we've got a bunch of regulars who come here to, uh, come to every show just to see what will improve next. Honestly, you'd be doing us a favor if you crashed it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, you know, uh, it does sound like fun, but I'll have to pass. We need to focus on our Swordmaster duel. 
Oh, so you came to challenge Jan? Make sure you keep your guard up around her and around that shark. I remember thinking she was smoking. <laughs> I... Oh no, he's going to get riddled with holes again. Artemis is here. But then I got a warning sign in my head telling me it would be super dangerous to get any closer. Like the first time I met Artemis, just like the first time I met Artemis. I said it twice just to make extra sure you heard me. I see. So I have to wonder a lot, Odeon. You seem very proud of the fact, but... <laughs> what? How is it that Lady Artemis did not raise any red flags for you? Darling... Yeah, man, it's been such a while we've done this, huh? It has, hasn't it? Then celebrate, I'll hit you with my lunatic beam. Your hardest hitting weapon? Help! Alright, I almost forgot. In your case, master, you'll need a big sister countermeasure as well as a shark countermeasure. Oh my god, what is a big sister countermeasure? Otherwise, you'll never stand a chance. Anyway, see you later. A big sister countermeasure. Yeah, what is that? It's important that you know how totally ridiculous that sounds. But it doesn't change the fact that she's right. Well, uh, we'll need a way to handle Jundi Ark's big sister crap or we'll never be able to beat her. Ugh, I can't believe this is a conversation I'm having right now. Right, so what's, what you're telling me is that Jun is my big sister. Oh my god, this... this Soft girls sold Giselle. <laughs> you need to come up with a smart solid plan to counteract her big sisterness. Cost that master? I got it, I got it. God. Okay. Hmm. Okay, where's the next one? Oh boy, yeah, I'll have to complete the next mission, I think. Let's see, where's the mission? Yeah, this one, I have to complete this one. Alright, um, I think I'll be back after doing a little farming because you know i need to unlock this section so yeah see you guys in the next part hey guys i'm back and let's resume our gameplay video so we are at the circus and we have to <laughs> get some kind of countermeasures for john d Arc's sister power and the shark uh the shark older sister mother Mother, what? Okay. Oh, mother. Oh, I, I understood now. Mother and... <laughs> so, who is the best countermeasure for a sister? I, I guess the mom, I think. So I'm guessing Raiko is going to come? <laughs> I think so, that's what's going to happen, alright. Mm. All right, countermeasures. First, let's figure out what to do about the shark. Okay, the shark. I'm, I'm not sure, sure about the shark. What can we do about the shark? Um, do we know any servants who would be able to easily handle a shark? Hmm, I don't particularly care for shark. Shark. Um, they're so inelegant, so utterly lacking in beauty. I have no use for such things. I suppose I can at least sympathize, empathize with their appetite for blood. <laughs> and you, Lambda, didn't you mention something about all sea life being your slaves? Yeah, what about that? <clears throat> that thing is no creature of the sea. It has moved beyond the ocean. Yeah, it's floating, so... Ah, just saying that made my head hurt. I'm going to take a dip in the pool. Let me know when you decided on your plan of attack. Hmm, what about the other servants with ties to the sea? Oh, maybe... Maybe a chef? What? What, do you want to make shark fin soup or something? <laughs> oh my god, that... Yeah, maybe a pirate? 
True, we do know a number of pirate servants. Let's try asking around. Yeah, Blackbeard is here, I guess. You can ask him. Oh, Drake is also here. A shark? Can't say I have strong feelings about the things one way or the other. Not much to experience uh, not much experience with them either. A shark, huh? A seaman can't help but run into them now and then. I'd just as soon as not face one again. Though, of course, if you want me to, I would fight it with everything I've got. I love shark fins. Yo, <laughs> I, I just said that. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> I love shark fins. <laughs> <coughs> hmm, we're just talking about plain old shark, right? I don't think you have to be a pirate to beat it. Honestly, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So, who are we going to get? Hmm, so much for that. Yeah. I guess it all boils down to the fact that when it comes to fighting a shark, you need courage more than skill. I agree with that. Those eyes were really scary. And it was stick talking human down you know i see then we should look for someone who won't be afraid of those dark soulless eyes someone reckless or maybe a little crazy so a berserker then hmm oh wow oh boy yeah no it's not sad it's, this is not happening yeah that should totally work i agree However, we still need to come up with a big sister countermeasure. Well, that's uh, as I said, I think Raikou will be the best for that because, you know, mom and the title was also mother. So it's no use. I'm not just that smart enough to come up with anything. What about your glasses, Siegfried? Didn't, doesn't, didn't it give you plus 10 intelligence or something? Times like this. Yes, at times like this, I think there's only one person to ask. Oh, Mr. Mystery. Settle down, settle down. You can always count on Mr. Mystery to help you out of a jam. Oh, fall in foe? <laughs> fall in. Why don't you just take a long foul off a short pier? <laughs> it's biting him. Ha, <laughs> my head is in piece of gum to be chewed. Strange and mysterious animal. Though I'm impressed you figured out how to get past my flower petal shooter. You've really upped your game. I guess I sh shown your, uh, my cards one too many times since we came to Vegas. There really is something magical about summer, isn't it? Please calm down, foe. I wonder why you always get so aggressive when Mr. 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 <laughs> As if you don't know, oh, Mr. Mystery shows up. At any rate, you're having trouble coming up with Big Sister Countermeasure, right? Yeah, we need to find a uh, we need to find a way to beat my sister. Yeah, my sister. Oh no, his brainwashing is getting stronger. <laughs> Usually there'd be no harm in claiming to be your big sister, but it does make for a challenge, no pun intended, when going up against her as a swimsuit swordmaster. But if you stop and think about it, I think you'll find a solution soon presents itself. Yeah. After all, even if you did have a big sister, you would also surely have a mother, there you go. A mother. Then if you bring in a servant who's convinced she's master's mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> My God. What fresh hell is this? All right, let's make sure we have everything straight. We'll need a berserker to handle the shark and we'll need a motherly or someone big sisterish in her own right to uh, handle Jan. Isn't there, is there anyone who would be right for, oh, Raikou is also a berserker, you know, but that's the normal Raikou, we need, like, Sun Tzu, Raikou is the Lancer Raikou, so, wait, we already have a berserker, that's Musashi, but, she, like, she's not, okay, there is, yep, there sure is, Th there is, yes, there's someone we know who would be perfect for this job. It's almost like she was born for it. <laughs> but when she... Yeah, there you go. But when she's a Lancer, she's... Right. Yeah. 
I'm sure Raikou's matern uh, Raikou's maternal sensibilities faded a bit from changing her spirit origin from a berserker to a lancer. Oh yeah, and that as well. Maternal sensibilities. Hmm, where'd Gordy go? He went down to the cafeteria to make French toast once they started talking about this motherly stuff. <laughs> Apparently he decided it was time to get to treat himself. No fair, I don't wanna face this reality either. Master, maybe we should try talking to Lord Kintoki about this. He might know a way to make her more maternal. Good idea, let's go see Kintoki. Yeah. Yes, Master. Then I guess I'll be on my way too. Bye bye, Mr. Mystery. <laughs> oh boy. So, this is Las Vegas. Not bad. I like this dry air. You don't get this kind of heat back in Japan, and I dig the way this haze makes everything look so shiny. Ah, oh yeah, this is how I always imagined America was like. Well, since I become a heroic spirit anyway, and my belt buckle agrees. But enough about that. The bigger question here is How much longer do I got to hold off getting to the, the thick juicy American steak I've been drooling over just so I can stand around here doing deadly squat? Don't ask me, I don't demand that all these people crowd around to take pictures of me. What the hell? <laughs> I guess it's just the price I have to pay for being a fox of such impeccable beauty. Besides, you were the one who offered to keep me safe on this trip since we are both Japanese hero spirits, right? <laughs> okay. And since I decided to take you up on your kind offer, I'd really appreciate it if you keep working as my bodyguard until I'm good and ready to leave. Over here is Mr. Mamo, give us a smile. Wow, look at the photographer. <laughs> Ah oh yeah, that's the stuff. Just don't forget the QP. Smiles this good aren't free, you know. Wow, she's charging QP for this. Would you mind collecting this fee, Kintoki? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Man, I can't believe I forgot how shrewd you can. Hmm? Hey, this master over there. Your master. Golden boy. <laughs> nice to see you so excited, master. I guess Vegas dry air agrees with you too. Oh my god. Master? <laughs> it feels like it's been ages since I saw you during summer, you little scramp, you. And now she's at least 30% more excited than already she was. Hang on. What's that? Oh, what the hell? Ah, my camera. Oopsies. It looks like my charms are so potent that I've caused the nearby demonic beast wolf wildfire to start running amok. Damn it, if only that narrow gal was here, they could be. <laughs> they could have cancelled each other out. <laughs> um, Kintoki, I think that would probably make things worse before it made them better. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, let's catch up after we make these things settle down. Hmm, hang on, if I'm not mistaken, this is a prime opportunity to say that line. What line? Really? Hey, you, give us a moment here, alright? Oh my god, this is the whole joke of, like, you know, that <laughs> whenever an anime character introduces themselves or tells their backstory, <laughs> the enemy lies, like, you know, stops whatever that they are doing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, then, on three. One, two. Yes, it's finally happening. We've got wyverns. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What's that all about? It's me, but it's definitely got them fired up. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's take Dante's with me. And... Yeah, this should do, I think. Let's go. Uh... 
Okay. Wait, there's only one chicken? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay. And there you go. <laughs> All right. Um Okay, this is the second arrow and we need a saber. So let's take Siegfried with us. Now nah, let's take Frankenstein with us. No, okay, Siegfried. Alright, let's go. There we go. Alright, now that the white birds out of the hair what do you want to talk to me about there's some wild wild west trouble happening in these parts you need my help with well you see yeah we don't technically need you but your mom that's just nuts there's some real dangerous fire playing with here master Riker's already got the power of a prefect yeah if you add maternal instincts on top of that she'll go right back being into a berserker <laughs> oh boy and if that happens, she could easily end up forbidding her precious child from fighting a shark. Shark. Oh yeah. And assign you to a whole mountain of summer homework. Wow, summer homework. Oh come now, even she must know that the master's not in elementary school anymore. Either way, if Minamoto no Raiko refuses to go along, that's going to be a problem in more ways than one. I don't think there's any other servant out there who could possibly defeat both a shark and a big sister. Basically, we want her to face John as a lancer while maintaining her maternal instincts. Okay. Well, okay, uh, yeah, like, um... John is a archer and she's a lancer, okay. Well, damn, master, I don't know what to tell you. I wish I could help, but I don't know if anyone who could manipulate boss Raikyu that precisely. Oh, I can think of someone. This is Raikyu we're talking about, yes? Oh, shoot then, oh my god. Are they going to bring Shuten here? They look no further than little. Oh, it's her. Okay. I thought they were going to bring Shuten or something. They look no further than little old me. I once twisted entire countries around my little finger. Alone, firecracker is nothing compared to that. A little no holds barred service from beast mode Tamamo, and she'll be putty in my hands. I'm a little worried how excited she is about this, but what do you think, Master? Want to give her a shot? Go for it, Tamamochi. You got it. Just sit there, relax and leave everything to me. Yeah, hopefully. I see. So, you want to defeat the servant calling herself a swimsuit sword master. That's the long and short of it, boss Raikou. I would love to do that. But the very existence of people calling themselves swimsuit sword masters is already unacceptable. You stay right here, master. I'll take care of everything myself. As a shadow prefect, this is my job to protect public decency wherever I go. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, boss. There won't be any point if you do it all alone. Master's gonna be there to face her too. 
I understand how he feels, but... Oh, what's the harm? I agree with Ranko Master, you should let her take care of everything herself. Okay, so she's playing the reverse psychological trick or something? What? You, you Tama Mono Mai, the most notorious veteran of all unacceptable summer servants. Sure am. So, as you were saying, Raikyu, you're volunteering to handle everything by yourself, right? Then, this would be a perfect time to enjoy a long and serious vacation. <laughs> so, oh my god, so this is how she's going to do this, okay. With just Master and me. Come on, Master, let's go to the pool first. After we go for a swim, we can rub tanning oil on each other, give each other massages, maybe even do a little skinny dipping. <laughs> Hold it right there. You won't be doing anything on that, uh, like that on my watch. It's absolutely unacceptable. Oh, why not? It's not like Master will have anything else to do with you taking care of everything, right? I, that's... But well, the thing is... <laughs> oh my god, she's crying. Are you sure this is a good idea? I know, Master, I feel bad for her too, but we just have got to got a grin and bear it. Well, come along, Master. You and I are going to have lots of fun together during this hot, steamy summer. I'm impressed, Frox Lady. You've owned your honey trap skills to an art, but I can still tell uh, it's just all an act. It's written all over your face. So that's how she brought those nations to their knees, though she did always claim she had nothing to do with any of that. No. Hmm? Oh, did Raikou fall for it? You will not be doing anything so indecent. Oh my god. <laughs> not on the head prefix watch. I shall send all, any evil tempters who would lead my dear child astray down to the pits of the hell myself. Oh my god, there you go, the maternal instincts. Alright, it worked. Well, that's it for me. Good luck with the rest, everyone. So you know this was gonna happen. No wonder you had me help come along. Eh, whatever, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Having a match with, match with the greatest Genji general of all time ought to be great warm-up for some to Soul Master Dwell. Man, I hope, I hope I had no idea being a servant would open the door to so many amazing experiences. Oh man, Minamoto Raikyu is a legend among the legends. Under different circumstances, I'd be rattling my sword, uh, champing at the bit for a duel. But I guess that'll just have to wait in the meantime. And um, wait, in the meantime, I'll use the back of my blades to knock her back to her senses. All right, so we're going to fight Raikou now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so be easy. Whoa. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Whoa, what the? She basically healed us, but obviously decreased the MP. Eh, I don't need my MP for this battle, I guess. Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh no. Ah, anyways. I, yeah. 
Alright, there you go. And that was okay. And that was another easy battle. Alright. Oh my, this is so embarrassing. I guess I got a little too carried away. Are you okay now, Raiko? Oh yes, I'm fine now. It seems like Tamama put one over on me this time, but that's all water under the bridge now. Then does that mean... Yes, although this time I will help you not as a Shadow Prefect, but as your mother. <laughs> I will make sure to give this battle against the Swim to Swordmaster my all... All while maintaining my sanity. Oh man, this is amazing! I can't believe I'm gonna get a fight alongside the famous general of Sewa Genji that defeated the giant spider of Kyoto. Hmm, excuse me, but would you happen to be a saber? Sure I am, I'm just still starting out but I've got uh, been real lucky with my opponents. They've helped me all the way to become a full-fledged sword fighter. I see, that's wonderful to hear. However, I noticed during a fight that your form could still use some work. Oh yeah, she's okay. If you like, I could give you some pointers on the way back to the hotel. Whoa, really? You'd do that for me? Yes, of course. I would be more than happy to teach you all about the proper execution of a certain Oni and Field for Monsters, boy. Whoops, I don't like the sound of that one bit, so I think I'll be going on my way from here. Oh, and Master, if you ever feel like taking a load off, come see me in my room whenever you like. <laughs> okay, ta-ta for now. Senpai, what did Tamo just say to you? Ah, why did you turn away from me? Senpai? Senpai? Oh yes, I nearly forgot. A proper match should be held in accordance with the proper customs. That's an important part of good moral character too. Is there any custom like that for a Simpson Swordmaster? Hmm, a letter of challenge. Huh, I see, I see. Then, we'll have to be sure to obtain one of those letters first. Yes, even if your opponent seemingly no longer cares about them. <laughs> For that is how one properly participates in an official match. Are we clear? Alright, I think I have enough to get one. No? Enough currency? Mm. So let's see, I think I have enough currency for... Yeah, I have. There you go. Nice. All right. Okay, so this is the final battle, I think. Fifth casino, Art's mother versus power system. <laughs> okay. All right. So there's an archer, which obviously we we'll need a lancer for, and who else? A berserker and a lancer and a save. Okay, I need a saber and. All right, you know what? Uh, let's do this. Okay, I need a saber. No, let's take. You know what? Let's take Siegfried again. Oh, we need to keep Hokusai. Okay, so okay. I, I think I should take a lance of them. Okay. I, okay, let's take her. Alright. And uh, yeah, I think this will do. Yeah, uh, should I just, yeah, let's just use this on her. Yeah, alright, let's go. Alright, the final battle of the 5th casino? Yeah, 5th casino. Art's mother versus power sister. <laughs> oh boy.
Oh my, oh my, if it isn't master. You're just in time for our next performance. Profitore. It's about a man who claimed to have cut off the Italian peninsula from the rest of Europe and brought it across the Mediterranean to attach it to Greece. Oh, what's that you've got there? Is that a letter of challenge I see? I'm here to challenge my big sis, I mean Jan. Yeah. Oh ho, trying your luck again, are we? I see, I see. So, you are here to challenge the owner of the fake of our fair casino to a rematch? Are you going to try and stop us, Mephistopheles? Me? Perish the thought? Uh, perish the lot of... I mean... Oh god, I fell right. That's it, I can't help but think I. it would be a terrible waste to not give such a spectacle the venue it deserves. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How about this, master? What if you and your coaster slash cohorts were to have your battle here on a casino center stage? And not just an impromptu improv routine, but as the stars of the show. Oh, that'll be good. Stars, really? A flashy battle between larger than life servants would go wonderfully well with the crowd. What about the story you say? Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. For example, you could be a group of swindlers trying to put one over on Miss Dark who could be having none of it. Come on, master, what do you say? Please, pretty please? <laughs> yeah, if you really think I'm cut off for starter, well, how can I say no? This would be great, senpai. I always knew you were born to be a star. <laughs> hmm. I guess this would be better than trying to challenge the casino on our own terms. If you would go along with this master, I have no problem with it. I feel the same as Lord Siegfried. Hmm, I think I'll pass on the play. I do enjoy a good show, but I'll, I've never done a musical before. Oh, but don't worry, I'll still be there to help you with the fighting. I'll be seeing this one out entirely, thank you. I have no interest in putting on a show for the masses. Some flowers are only meant to be bloom in the dead of the night, no matter how much attention their beauty may draw. <laughs> wow. <laughs> needless, needless to say, it's no different from for Phantom Thieves. I'll have to pass too, since my figure's nothing to write home about. Yeah, you sure? I think you look great. Yes, I'm sure. Gomenna sorry, Machan, but this is one thing that I just can't do even for you. I mean, I'll do the camera woman making sure to capture the action from every conceivable angle. Da Vinci should have some extra cameras lying around, so I'm going to see if I can borrow three of them. Three? I have to say, Mash scares me sometimes. <laughs> Right there with you, Lord Siegfried. Wonderful! Here we go! Woohoo! Whoa! What kind of job? <laughs> sound effect was that? And that sound effect as well. Mephistopheles is no ordinary person, so I expect his jumps are no ordinary jumps either. That sounds logical, but something is telling me it won't hold up even the slightest bit of scrutiny. So, we're going to have this rematch on stage. Well, I certainly can't set this one out then. Regardless of the size or shape, a stage is still a stage after all. Oh, hi Lambda. Welcome back. Yes, thank you Marsh. Don't worry, I've got it all handled this time. There's just no way her big sister power can stand up to my prima ballerina power. It's time she learned why they call me prima donna of the water. Wait, does that mean I have to go up on stage too? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. You want me to go to the stage? Sure, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I'd be fighting my little brother out there? No go. Pasiva! <laughs> Oops, I mean, Korosho. Yes, this is very Korosho, Mephistopheles. I can see it now. Two siblings who love each other coming to an understanding by trading blows. What type of an anime is that? It's like they say, adversity brings people together, so let's give them some adversity they'll never forget. Yes, of course, I should have known a swimsuit swordmaster would be on board with this. After all, you clearly aren't the slightest bit worried that you might lose. Well, of course I'm not. After all, I'm... His big sister! Yes, exactly. Still, if I may offer a word of advice, a true big sister is not a big sister merely by virtue of her birth. Indeed, the same can be said for siblings as a whole. No big sister is born out of thin air. <laughs> wow. 
Do you see what I mean? Yes, of course, that's all true, but I don't get your point. What are you trying to say, Mephistopheles? That my dear owner is a secret. <laughs> Suffice to say, that will all be cleared up uh, upon the stage. Ah, if only Shakespeare were here right now. I can just imagine him pouting with envy and saying, I want to perform too. I wonder why he's so ad adamantly refused to come near the casino thus far. Well, I certainly haven't banned him or anything. I have been praying to myself that he never shows up here, but that doesn't count, right? Oh my god. At any rate, the match is just about to start, so go on, get on the stage. Oh, this is so exciting, I can't wait to see everything fall to pieces. Yahoo! Oh my god, the sound effect. What in the world was the jumping sound? Okay, this is the play. Tonight we bring you all a tale, a uh, tall tale spun up by a great con artist. The story of the man who claimed to have cut off the Italian peninsula and attached it to Greece. Now sit back, relax and enjoy. Oh ho, I see. It's the will of God, what can you do? No matter. Even in Greece, Rome will continue to be Rome. Just as my, I myself am Rome, so too is the Severed Peninsula. So, the Italian Peninsula is coming here to Greece, huh? Sure, whatever. Oh, what about taxes? Does this mean the Romans are gonna have to start paying us now? Hey guys, did you hear the news? They say they're going to chop off the whole Italian peninsula and stick it to Greece. Oh my, this is amazing. Once we're Greeks, we might be able to climb out Olympus ourselves. This calls for a celebration here to the people chopping off the peninsula. <laughs> we did it. We got permission from the king and everything. All we gotta do now is cut the dank peninsula. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. Hey, make way for the con artist and his crew. I don't think so, little brother. If you cut off the peninsula, the boost of Italy, the boot of Italy will go floating across the Mediterranean Sea. And the last thing this world needs is an island shaped like a boot. <laughs> oh boy. Besides, as your big sister, it's my duty to stop you. Yes, this is all part of me being a big sister. Isn't that right, you two? It's sure. Oh my God, they. She brought, she brought the, both the uh, chance. It sure is. Nobody should go around swindling others. Even Punya knows your nose grows if you tell lies. Honestly, I'd rather be on your guys' side here. But this time, I'm siding with them. Now shut up and do what I say like a goddamn little brother. <laughs> I knew it. They broke pain rush too. Oh, okay, okay. All right. This time, for words, it's over. From now on, I'll do whatever it takes to restore my family's love for each other. Big sister beam. Woom woom woom. <laughs> That's a sound effect, I'm guessing. Eh, must be nice. Personally, this is giving me a headache and a stomach ache. Now. Ah, here she is. <laughs> oh boy. What? Who are you? You wish to know who I am? Very well then, I'll tell you. I am... Mother. <laughs> mother? Yes, Master's mother. Which means you, of course, are not his big sister. And I'm not going to, I'm going to prove that here and now. Ready? And... Mother laser. Oh my god. The big sister beam and the mother laser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, what the hell? What's that? This doesn't matter. I can't back down now. I have to stop my little brother from becoming a con art. Hold it right there. Try to get in our way and we'll cut right to you too. Come on, big bro. Let's get this surprise show on the road. I see, I see. Now I understand what's going on here. In that case, I'm pulling out all the stops on my end too. Oh my god, Mr. Sharky is here. Let's do this. Reese XP. We're going to find out which is the strong which is stronger. Mother or big sister? It's time for a duel of sword beauties. 
All right, it's the final battle. Las Vegas, Mizugi Kengo, Nanairo Shobu, Bikini Samurai, Katsushika Hokusai, Tai, Junpak Seiso, Onechan Mizugi, Janne Daruk, Kakko Same. These are Jinjouni Shobu. Okay, here we go. So we have to deal with uh, John Berserker, John Lily, and John Archer. Okay. But. I'm a bit sleepy. <laughs> oh god. Alright. I'm checking out her skills. I've never seen them before because unfortunately I did not get melt. So yeah. Okay, so I think we should probably deal with the berserker in the beginning. Okay, um There you go. Now let's uh, deal with Guess let's get this over, yeah. Oh my god, the crit. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, um... There you go. Alright! Okay, here we go. We won. Mother B, Mother Laser, Mother Breath, Mother Slash, Mother Smash. Wow, she has everything. Are those really the best names you could come with? Absolutely. They're all pure expressions of my motherly love translated into spear techniques. Those are not spear techniques. Ah, this isn't over yet. Come here, reach XP. Play with me. Honestly, even knowing reach XP is on our side, being on the same battlefield with a shark scares me. I'm most scared of our big sister for including a shark in the first <laughs> Mother Tornado, wow, she even has a tornado. N next what? Like... <laughs> ah! 
Ah, at least XP just got blown away, literally. Fine, guess I'll have to go in and cover for a stupid ass mic. What? The hell were you thinking? You could have killed me, damn it. Who the hell are you anyway? Hmm, <laughs> that saint woman might be a different story, but I have a feeling you and I will get along quite <laughs> nicely. After all, you love stabbing your opponents to death just much as I do, right? Wow, what a great way to become friends. Then, that would mean make us absolutely dreadful matchup. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off this freaking weird leg of yours and replace them with slinkies. Here I come. The tornado might have turned recent XP, XP into a movie title. <laughs> but you wouldn't have won yet. Or not. Backstep. What? She's wide open. Oh yeah. Now's the chance. Go on. Just like I taught you. You got it. Chirifuri, Kanon, Aoi, Roben, Yoshitsune, Yoro, Ono, Amida. So that's who I should have been watching more closely. Oh no, I can defend it in a tour of the waterfalls in various provinces. Oh boy, there you go. You got me. Yes. I'm so humiliated. I can't believe I was never his big sister. She was never my big sister? Yeah. Weird, right? <laughs> oh, what the? That's right, you're not my little brother. I knew it. The summer heat was making us hallucinate. Hallucinate. Whoa. Okay, so they themselves were uh, brainwashed. So, John Archer was not brainwashing them. I can't believe it. We're only siblings in name, not blood. What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She still hasn't fully accepted it. Excuse me everyone, but we still have a play to put on. Oh crap, you're right. Come on then, step right up, right this way. The unparalleled, unprecedented, unheard of feat, cutting the Italian peninsula of Europe, is now complete. Come on now everyone, we're all moving to Greece. Thus was the Italian peninsula cleaved in twain. The overjoyed Romans went on to live in Greece while the hell, all hell would inevitably break loose again. Was that? The pencil wasn't cleaved in two at all? Indeed it wasn't, but by the time the truth came out, the corn artist and his crew had all long disappeared. And yet, amazingly enough, the corn artist and his crew hadn't so much as touched the people's money. Oh, perhaps the corn artist, or rather the tall tell teller, simply told his tell to surprise. Or maybe the braggart even did it to delight. And so everyone lived happily ever after? <laughs> it's like question mark? Oh my god. I feel like I've just waken up, woken up from a dream. You mean like a nightmare? Not at all, it was a wonderfully lovely dream. At any rate, it looks like my role as a swimsuit swordmaster has come to an end. Congratulations on a job well done everyone, you deserve a round of applause. Clap clap clap. Yeah yeah, congrats all round and a four <laughs> sword style huh? I'm gonna take a little walk. Who knows, there could be a place in the singularity where katanas grow on trees. Oh boy. Katana don't grow on trees silly. What the hell do you know? There could be hidden oasis around here with katanas for days. On second thought, never mind, I don't know what I was thinking. I say I'm not I'm a kid and I wouldn't have believed something that's that silly. Can't believe I got preoccupied with Alter that I missed my chance to finish the original off. Hey Mephistopheles, I want to be the star of the next show. Of course, of course. Hmm, since figure skating is obviously suits you, maybe something like the Snow King? No, not that. I'd prefer not to perform anything originally written by Anderson. Oh wait, what? Why? Or Shakespeare, for that matter, the last thing my show needs is original author heckling me about changes. Oh, okay. Oh my, you're a picky one, aren't you? Alright, how about the call of the wild? That's a story about dogs. Do I look like a furry to you? I think you look good in God, uh, uh, good in dog ears. 
Is that what you think? Interesting. Well, I'll tell you now. I don't do cats or dogs. It has to be either fish or fowl. Oh, then what about something like with a horn? Does there's no sea beast more terrifying than a narwhal? Narwhal? Absolutely not. What kind of hideous freak goes around with horns out their head? Hmm, it's all over. <laughs> Why are you so relieved? I don't recall either of us doing anything to help this time. Hey, I don't know about you, Carmilla, but I gave Machan my met metaphorical butt pan once. What? Already this event? You know, despite those nonsensical expressions you use, you're quite easy to talk to. Well, you know, the Ellie Chan that I have something of a wreckish history. Oh no. Alright, I guess you actually are her, aren't you? Oh my god, she's going to freak out. She and I are not the same. Oh, bats, I should have known that was the soul spot. I am Mr. C, the swimsuited phantom thief. I am nothing like her and her ordinary non swimsuit clothes. <laughs> Here we go, the calling card. I got it, I got it, so please, Yamete could have stopped with the calling cards. Those things really sting. <laughs> I'm sorry, my own intellect wasn't much use this time around <laughs> that's okay see if you do plenty helpful on your own <laughs> i'm honored you think so master yeah all that's left is now the summer lion king herself we're in the home stretch now master we sure are <laughs> oh fo fo special translation he's so up to something yeah I was. Whoa, what the hell? Play with me? <laughs> as to yours. Yes, play. Wow, they got a happy ending as well. Nice. <clears throat> okay, I think that's it. Yeah, this is it, I think, for the fifth casino. Alright, so the next one will be the Sun Li Summer Lion King. I think. Okay. All right, I'll do this later on. And uh, it's even locked here, so I think I need to get like seven, yeah, hundred seventy thousand million. Ah uh, no, sorry, I hundred seventy million. You know, uh, QP to unlock this. And also, I need to wait for another day because it's unlocked. Uh, because it's locked. So yeah, this will be it. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was this uh, part number. Uh, not part. Sorry. Uh, this is the fifth casino. We completed it and defeated the Sunsu Sword Master as well. So we'll be getting entering into the final match, I think, and which will obviously be Summer Lion King versus Hoxai. So I'm guessing the barrier will be gone now, uh, the, the whole thing, you know, and, and now we can get in and Summer Lion King will fight with us and all. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was it. So thank you guys for watching. This was my gameplay video of Las Vegas official bout. And if you guys enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. And I'll be linking down my FGO playlist down below uh, in the description box. You can click on it to find my other FGO video, FGO content, or the gameplay video as well. I do them uh, when the events come and when the stories come. So those th stuff you'll find. And uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part of the video when we'll obviously be fighting Summer Lion King. We're almost at the finale. And uh, yeah, that will be it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.